Education, it kind of has a bad stigma to it. Just the word itself or going to school. We're going to talk about ways to get educated in real estate that are going to be exciting. Stay tuned. What's up guys, Steve with Steve Invest helping real estate agents and real estate investors grow their businesses. Coming at you today talking about education. Look, I was not a good student, um, you know, throughout, uh, you know, grade school, high school, and even college, I just got by. So even the word education to me is just kind of like, bleh. like I don't even, I don't, I think the word is tainted. I think the word school is tainted. Uh, in my personal as well as professional opinion, I think a lot of education out there is ultimately a waste of time, but I'm not gonna waste your time. All right, recommendations for furthering, furthering your education. Look, everybody needs to be uh, continuing their education, whether it really doesn't matter what kind of field of real estate you're in, it's always important to learn. Even if you're the most seasoned person out there, you can always, always get better. Look, uh, you know, not, last week I was over in uh, Los Angeles for Vid Summit. I'm talking about how to grow your YouTube channel and I'm going to share more information on that in some other videos. But even when I was there, on a dime I signed up with Daryl Eves, he's a, a YouTube guru. I mean even one of his clients is Google. Um, it, it's incredible and Google owns YouTube. So immediately I saw this opportunity to sign up for uh, a coaching course six weeks long and uh, immediately dropped a thousand dollars for this education. I actually just got off the call with them. It was about two and a half hours long today for the jump starter. And uh, it, uh, just the value I got in that two and a half hours was incredible. So we want to pick and choose what we're what we're absorbing on a regular basis. And again, we want to make sure that we're always continually educating ourselves. So my first recommendation is go to plan to go to one big event per year. Look, you can make this even a vacation. You can bring your, your family and your kids, you know, while you're in, in these seminars or whatever the case is, they can go out shopping or go to the beach or explore that area that you're in. I recommend that this area be um, not in your local area. So even if it's, you know, within your state that you can drive to, or if you do have the financial capability and fly to a different area, but take advantage of one big event that, that could further your growth personal and in business. My second recommendation is I'd say go to at least two to three local events that are gonna help your business as well. So that can be you know, local events on you know, uh, further marketing or even networking events. Now what are the benefits associated with doing this? You know, for one thing, especially with a large event uh, an annual event that you set up, you're gonna come back with a, a refresh. You're gonna be rebooted. You're gonna have a ton of ideas for implementation. Um, you're probably gonna be very motivated. And a lot of times, I know me personally, when I've gone to larger events, I come back, I'm extremely motivated, I'm, and I'm very productive for at least that first quarter. Um, and that will wear off. So that's why it's important to go to smaller events per year to kind of keep that train of thought and, and keep that motivation going. Another thing is you're gonna come back with a ton of ideas for implementation. Um, I still, on some of the larger events that I've gone to, I still haven't reviewed reviewed all the notes and note taking that I took while going to certain events. So you're gonna come back with a lot of ideas and that's what it's all about, is come back with real good solid ideas. Um, and another thing, another benefit is the networking opportunity. You don't know who you're gonna be sitting next to. I mean, even at Vid Summit, I, I was sitting next to some of the largest uh, YouTubers that, that are out there that I uh, honestly I didn't even know who they were until we started engaging in conversation. Um, so you, and you don't know what that could lead to. You don't know if that could lead to future business, future collaborations, and so forth. So when you're gonna go and attend these net, um, events, you wanna make sure that you are networking, you are talking to as many people, you are exchanging business cards, because you just don't know the opportunity. The, the old saying is, luck is created, and I couldn't agree more. Um, you know, people put themselves in situations to create that luck, and even this last session that I was at, you know, I have a handful of collaborations that are gonna come up and you know, that could lead to bigger things, that could lead to other opportunity, who knows, but it's the ability that we go out and we kind of 
just go ahead and set up those situations and you don't really know who's going to be sitting next to you. And as mentioned, I just got back from LA from the Vid Summit. Um, I'm really encouraged about it and with this training uh, platform that I have with Daryl Eves, um, I, I think I'm going to be able to help a lot of people as well, especially real estate agents or really anybody in the real estate industry that's looking to grow a YouTube channel. So um, I'm going to have several videos on that because there's a lot of information to absorb. Um, also, most recently at our office over at Maxim Realtors, we had uh, a gentleman named Doug from the Tony Robbins um, Network. All right, are you ready? Are you committed to destroying your limiting belief patterns? Yes! Are you committed to living your life at a level 10? Yes! Are you committed to step up? Yes! 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 Awesome. Come into our office and he really uh, got got all of our agents pumped up and excited. Obviously, he was there to sell some tickets um, for that that session. Um, Unleash the Power Within is actually in Miami, coming in November 2019. And um, I can tell you, um, a big event like that, and I've been to Unleash the Power actually with my sister in Dallas, and I can tell you it was an incredible event. We got, we came back super fired up, um, and you know, just my opinion on these bigger events. You it is high energy. You 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 kind of immerse yourself into these events, and it's it's worth every penny. It is worth every penny, and I can I can tell you, you know, even Vid Summit, I probably dropped about four thousand dollars with with even this further training, and I know that four thousand dollar return on investment is, is going to grow substantially. If you are broke and you you cannot scrounge the the funds up, the necessary funds to go to certain events, reach out far in advance, at least a year in advance of upcoming events that you know of and see if you can volunteer at some of these events. They need people to volunteer and if you're going to volunteer at no cost but basically the cost to, for admission, it doesn't cost them anymore and they can use extra hands. You know, just make those calls, send those emails, see where you can volunteer and that's going to be a way for you guys can, to cut down costs on uh, admission tickets. So what are some of the events, if you're in the real estate field, that you can go to? Um, there are a lot of real estate coaches out there, like the Mike Ferry organization, Tom Ferry. Um, you got uh, sales organizations like Grant Cardone, uh, the 10X session. You got Tony Robbins, as we mentioned. There's a bunch of social media networking events out there, social media marketing events out there. Um, YouTube, if you're trying to grow the YouTube channel, you have uh, VidCon. I highly recommend Vid Summit um, because it's really dialed in on how to grow your YouTube channel. Um, there, there's so many events out there that um, are, are going to be beneficial to you. You can go to just traditional sales events. It doesn't have to be related to real estate or, or really any kind of industry as a whole. So, um, you know, there, there's probably plenty other events on the psychology of the sale. Well, what about real estate investing seminars? I mean, think of, think about the opportunity there as a you know real estate investor, but also if you're a real estate agent, you know there the people there are primarily real estate investors, so it's a fantastic way to network within and be that source for people that are potentially going to be buying or selling real estate as an investment. So you know if a course costs you all in six hundred a thousand dollars, what would one real estate sale do? In terms of a return on investment so there, there's so many opportunities but i think that would be a great target market for uh looking into you know an, a big annual event or even you know a couple smaller ones in your local area look never stop learning you know the, again i think education school i think those words are kind of tainted you got to go to school to get good grades and uh, you got to avoid failing and all that kind of stuff and that's just not real world real world is understanding something, learning from it, implementing it, and failing, and then learning from that failure. And that that is real world. So I highly encourage you, never stop learning. You can be uber successful and um, very seasoned as a real estate agent, investor, and so forth. But I can tell you, you can always learn something new and motivation doesn't hurt you. So if you go to these events and the energy is high level, that motivation is gonna help you do another deal, five, 30 deals a year. So it's important to continually educate yourself. So my question to you guys is, is there anything upcoming that you're gonna be going to? Leave a comment below. If you have any questions on events that I've been to in the past and how they were, my personal experiences, ask me about it.
throw it down in the comments below and I'm happy, to, um, I'm happy to share that information with you guys. As always, if you got one good thing from this video, go ahead and like it. Uh, if you subscribe to this channel, I have more videos coming out to help real estate agents, real estate brokers, as well as investors. So if you subscribe, hit that little bell notification. I have one to two videos coming out every single week. I do appreciate the support. Thanks a lot.